Do you know that feeling when you have this really great idea and you would love to try it out in your painting, but you're afraid to do it because you might mess up the painting? You're afraid because you might not like the mark and it can potentially mess up your whole painting. Yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about because most painters have experienced this. We have this really great idea that we'd like to add some intense turquoise in this part of the painting, but if it doesn't work out, it will be difficult to remove and it might potentially ruin the whole painting. In this video, I want to show you a way to try out your idea without any risk of ruining your painting. Sounds almost too good to be true, right? So in this video, I'll show why I sometimes use soft pastels to try out colors and marks in my paintings. As we know, acrylics dry very quickly. They are difficult to remove and I might get into trouble if the mark doesn't work out. Soft pastels, on the other hand, are easy to work with and they are just as easy to remove if I don't like what I did. So let me show you why this is such a brilliant idea. So I was playing around with the idea of adding some intense turquoise to this painting. But I just wasn't ready to commit yet and use my acrylics. So uh, now I'm going to try with some uh, soft pastels because this way I can really try things out without any risk. I can use dry soft pastels on top of my dry acrylics and I can remove and erase the marks if I'm not happy with them. Let me show you a few examples um, of how this works. So adding the marks with the soft pastels is really easy. They are soft and they go on very smoothly. But uh, let's say I made a mark like this green one here and I want to get rid of it. I can simply use a dry brush and brush off the pastel colors or I can use a damp paper towel to dry and wipe it off. So this way I can stay expressive, bold and brave in my mark making just the way I want to. And I know I can always remove or erase the marks if I'm not happy with them. This gives me some peace of mind and also it gives me courage to try things out. So I, I really feel this has been quite helpful uh, to me. So maybe you can use this tip as well. If you want to step into painting looser and making your painting routine more fun and enjoyable, don't forget to download my free guide, Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. You can find the link below the video here. It includes five steps and uh, these are five steps that I use myself all the time. So I thought, why not make a uh, a guide for everyone else to see as well. You can pick and choose what works for you, but these are five of my go-to um, ways or steps with practical um, steps that you can take so you can get started today. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Thank you.